<laughs> All right, welcome everyone. It is Monday, November 4th, and we are here with our Senior Executive Director, Stephanie Richardson. Um, when I was thinking of ways that we could all learn together for the fall, um, one of the things that I really wanted to bring you was someone who was knowledgeable in our business um, and someone who had been very successful and who continues to be very successful. And I immediately thought of Stephanie and I wanna just tell you, she doesn't know I'm gonna share any of this, but it's shared everywhere. So Stephanie has been with Pampered Chef for, <laughs> for over 20 years um, and she has been, you've been an executive for the last eight, nine, 10, something like that. More than, more than 10. Yeah. Okay. More than 10. Mm -hmm. A long time. Okay. Long time. <laughs> and we, well, this time last year, we were actually all working towards um, hitting um, senior executive director. So, um, if anyone knows how to have a fantastic fall is Stephanie because not only does she consistently sell through virtual parties and cooking shows um, over 10,000 a month. Let's just let that sit in for a second. Um, but she also has an organization who sells well over the needed amount for even national executive director. So um, this month, I'm just going to say it this month. We know everybody's working towards these fun goals. Um, you, you each have your own goal that you are working towards. Um, your leaders have goals that they're working towards. Um, and as an organization with my organization, Becky's and Stephanie's, we're all going for these huge goals. And the fall, <laughs> because people want to buy presents and they're baking and they're doing all kinds of things. Um, it's the perfect time to be a consultant, to set huge goals and work your butts off going for them. <laughs> so um, I'm just really excited that we get to hear from her because she's done this. She's been here multiple times. She's successfully been through it. Um, and so I think anything that you can take from her, take notes, um, ask questions, and just kind of take it all in because we've got about 20 minutes with her. And um, those of you that are on here, all 12 of you, you're not going to forget this. So <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself and take out my notebook. <laughs> well, I wanna just brag on Lindsay for a minute because it was a year ago at conference. Do you remember this? when you sat down in front with me and I knew I had the opportunity to ask a very select few of people to sit down front with me as an executive and I knew when she sat with me that she was going places I just knew she had the vision already I could tell and she was very mature and just super organized and pumped and just taking every bit of information in that she could and would run with it. She's very coachable. That's one of the things that makes a huge difference in how far you go in this business is how coachable are you? And I knew when I met her, she was going places and she has not proven my gut instinct wrong. That's for sure. She has definitely gone places and she has been an incredible leader to all of you. And I'm just so grateful for her, for her leadership, for her visionary, um, you know, mindset and just every way that she leads all of you as well as part of our entire organization. So thank you, Lindsay, for inviting me. I appreciate it. <laughs> so let's get started. Let me ask you this. What are some of the benefits to you of having a full show schedule during the holiday season. Some of you may have to unmute to talk to me because <laughs> I like to be interactive. What are some of the benefits to you of having a full show schedule during the holiday season? Anybody? Earning the free for all. Earning the free for all, yes. Earning the new spring products. Okay, let me tell you, I have seen them. I have seen them twice now, okay? 
you are going to want to earn them. You especially want to earn the cover product, which is the $2,000 level, and you're going to want to earn them all because they're amazing. They're going to wow you all over again, I promise you. <laughs> so earning free for all, that's one reason. How about what else? Um, paying for Christmas? Paying for Christmas, that's right. You can have a debt-free Christmas. That's definitely a reason to have a full show schedule. What else? Thanks, Leslie. What's another I, benefit? I tried to make sure that I filled my November schedule up quickly so I could start working on December because I feel like as the holidays start, people start to get busier. You're less likely You're right. to get messages. So if I can just hurry up and I'm already starting into December so I can have it where I'm not having to send messages at the last minute to fill up. You're so smart, Kaylin. That is very true. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to go ahead and get November booked and then start on December. And then you want to start on January, believe it or not. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Any other perks that you want to identify that are for you for having a full schedule? I remember this from last year, just talking about, just like you were just talking about having a good January um, so that you can start earning points a strong start toward incentive trip. Absolutely. You're going to build that momentum and you're going to get in front of enough people in November and in front of enough people in December, which will lead to bookings for January, which will get you in front of enough people to sell to give you a really good start on your incentive points for the new year. And that we will find out on December 13th where we're going. Yay. <laughs> That's going to be a super exciting day, right? Awesome. So there are a lot of perks for having a full show schedule ourselves this holiday season. So let me ask you this. Why would someone want to have a party with you in November? What would be some of the perks for them? What are people looking for this time of year? Christmas presents. Okay, so they're shopping for gifts. Products to use for, like, I thought, like, the entertaining platters and things to make their dishes look nice. Or... Yes, yes. They're wanting to have products that they can use in their own homes for entertaining their friends and family, right? What are some other reasons that someone would want to have a party this, this month and next month? Fun, yes, <laughs> lots of fun. This is the time of year people love to get together and socialize, you know, and I know a lot of you do virtual parties. I'm gonna challenge you to do something in your home this holiday season, at least one thing. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but yes, people wanna have fun and they wanna socialize, that's right. They don't have to cook, <laughs> it's funny. So, they're also looking for holiday recipe ideas because if they're going to a party, they're going to want to know what can I take with me, right? That will impress everybody. Everybody will be excited about eating. They'll be talking about. So they're looking for that too. And of course, our hosts are going to be saving on their own holiday budget and what they can take the products that they've earned and they can use those for gifts and that saves money on their own budget by doing that. So there are a lot of different booking ideas I wanna share with you as we kind of talk a little bit about the holiday season. But the first thing I wanna to mention to you before we kind of move into that is don't make the mistake of not working your business in November and December because you're busy with other activities. Did you hear me? I can tell you from 23 years of experience, the consultants on our team that take a break and don't work, kick themselves in January. And that's right, work the whole month of December. I work the whole month of December. I typically do parties after Christmas cutoff. I typically do parties after Christmas, but the week between Christmas and um, New Year's. So you, uh, you can work your business the entire 
month of December. Just when it's just because it's Christmas cutoff doesn't mean that we stop working. We continue to work for the entire month. So here are some different ideas I'm going to share with you. Some of them can be virtual. Some of them can be in home. So one thing that I've done consistently the past couple of years is I have done an online vendor event. So it's kind of like a big mega party as an event where there's lots of different direct selling companies invited. So let's say you have a Mary Kay person or a jewelry person and then you're a pampered chef and then everybody invites people to it and we take turns posting. We have rules about how frequently we post each day and then you post your shopping link and people order. The last two years I've done that, they have been seven and $800 parties from doing that. So that's a good thing that you may not have even thought about. You can also do something like that in your home if you know other people who are in direct selling organizations of other businesses, you can, Lizzie's doing one this month, she said that's awesome. You can ask them to come to your home or one of their homes and set up in different rooms in the house. And you can definitely get some really strong sales from that and to have like a little open house vendor event type thing. That has worked really well and it helps you get new leads, especially if you feel like you're kind of cycling through the same people over and over. You're going to meet new people from them. A cookie workshop is really fun to do in your home. Last year I did a cookie workshop. And they pre-ordered like the, um, the cookie sheet, the scoop, things like that, the batter bowl. And if they already had those products, then they just had to order products that equaled that same dollar amount to be able to come to the workshop. And then I had them bring two rolls of sugar cookie dough and then some add-ins. And they all left with five dozen cookies to take home that they made within an hour. And it was incredible. It was so much fun. So that was a lot of fun. And I had a great time with all of my customers that came. And that's a really fun thing you can do. You can also do like a mom and me class. If you want to do something with little kids and do a holiday candy or treat making class. Like some people will do um, like spiced nuts or the peppermint crunch bark and things like that and people come and make those and go home with them you could also if you have the cooking blender you could make some little treats like peanut butter or jelly or something like that that people could come and take home in small little containers or do a santa's uh, santa's helper party which is where you have um, people go online on your website and register for a wish list and then those wish lists they can send to their mom, their sister, their sister-in-law, whoever that needs to buy for them that doesn't know what to get them. Well, they can get them paper chat, right? And then you um, can have a party that's just for the husbands or the moms and husbands or whoever you want to invite and call it a Santa's helper party. And for the kids, you could do the decorate brownies like they come and they decorate holiday brownies or you could make one of the cookie house molds and do that um, you could also do some appetizers for moms since the kids are there maybe the apple cider donut something like that this past weekend on saturday i did a an entertaining with ease party is what i did and what i did was i taught them how to build a charcuterie board on the Lazy Susan and on the medium entertaining platter. And they loved it. And we did all brunch foods and fruits and apples and strawberries and grapes and bacon, like the bacon you put in the microwave that's already cooked that you just have to heat up, you know? We put all of that on those platters and it looked gorgeous and it was a fun housewarming party for a girl in her very first apartment. So that was really fun. So people want to learn fun ideas like that. And so I have several of those booked this month. I also have wine, cheese, and chocolate parties. That's always a fun one to do this time of year. And 
sips and dips or sips and apps or bites and bevs. People are looking for holiday appetizers. They want to know recipes they can take, and those are all themes that will get people excited. And soup, of course, with our cooking blender, there are so many yummy soups we can make in that and show off the cooking blender. So you could do a soup and slippers event at your home where everybody wears their cutest slippers and then you vote on the cutest ones and that person goes home with a prize and you can show off the cooking blender. So if you do all virtual parties, I'm gonna challenge you to just pick one of those ideas and do one for November and one for December because it's gonna stretch you outside of your comfort zone and it's gonna you know, get you in front of different people and those are going to turn into either more in-home or more virtual parties. And it's always good to just try something new, okay? So those are some fun ideas. I know Melinda Brown on our team, she's doing a pie workshop. And she's doing that on the Monday of Thanksgiving week. So everybody that's coming to her house is going home with a pie that they can have for Thanksgiving. Isn't that awesome? So that's really fun. And she's gonna be doing that on Monday. And she doesn't do a ton of in-home parties, just one every once in a while, but she just thought that would be really fun to do. So that's another neat idea. But the thing I wanna encourage you is, you know, once you decorate for the holidays, which some people do the day after Thanksgiving, some people do before that, you know, it's always different in different people's home, but your house is gonna look the best that it looks all year long right? Because it's super decorated. It's cute. And don't just save that for your family. Have people over and share your business and share the tricks and the trades that you know, all these little, you know, um, recipes and little tricks and things that you know by being a consultant that they don't know. They're just amazed. Like, the girls the other day were like, well, how do you know what to put on a charcuterie board? And how do you, what do you put on? You know, they want to know. People want to know things like that. And you can look up, you can Google anything that you want to learn, right? But some people don't take the time to do that. So those are just some fun things. Now, if you haven't paid attention to the catalog, one thing that's really interesting in the catalog is there are these featured product collections that are in the catalog and what that means is you'll notice like these big bold words at the top of the pages and so one section is all on breakfast ideas and one section is on snack ideas and one's on one pot meals or one you know vessel meals and so one thing you can do to increase sales for this month and next month is pick one of those themes as you flip through the catalog you're going to see them now you're going to go oh i didn't know that was there and pick one of those themes and just say, okay, today I'm gonna post all breakfast ideas. I'm gonna give people ideas of what they can make the day after Thanksgiving for breakfast or Christmas morning, right? I'm gonna give them some breakfast ideas. And so just post breakfast ideas. The next day you post snack ideas and you can go through, I'm gonna post entertaining ideas. And that way that will help add some incremental sales. And this might not be something that, you know, you jump on as much as some of your team members may jump on. You know, they may want to jump on some of these ideas as well. But use those featured product collections. And then also use gift ideas to have a great holiday season. So, for example, one of the things we usually do at our team meeting here is we have everybody bring a product the way they would display it to you know like at a party or on a virtual party so one thing that you guys could do on your team page is put together a product idea and take a picture of it and post it on your team page and then your your you know team members are going to get all kinds of ideas of all these different gifts that you can market to people on facebook and through your parties so for example over the years we've always done any kind of measuring tool like the measuring spoons or the measuring the um, easy read measuring cups or anything like that for any coach or any teacher gift you can use any of the measuring tools and put a little card with it that says you make a measurable difference in my child's life right so any measuring tool people are looking for gift ideas like that they want to know what can i get my kid's soccer coach what can i get my 
my kid's football coach, what can I get my kid's teacher, right? And so those are ideas that you can post with each other and give each other ideas and then you can share those on your own Facebook pages. What if you don't have kids? Is that what that said? If you don't have kids, then, I mean, there's plenty of other gift ideas that you can post. I mean, the um, one thing we've done in the past is whisk. I mean, you can say you make a measurable difference in my life to a good friend of yours, right? Or somebody from your church or who's in your small group or your neighbor. It doesn't have to be a teacher, but anybody that's just been important in your life, you can do that. We've also used the whisk in the past and put Hershey's Kisses in between the wires and say, I whisk you a Merry Christmas. Um, so that's a fun thing you can do. So there's all kinds of little ideas you can do like that. So just thing is get creative and post those ideas and that will help you and your team with incremental sales and then talk to people at holiday parties you're going to be going everywhere you're going to be going to your kids events of all these different kinds of holiday events at church at school and then your spouse's work you know um party and your work party if you work another job outside of Pampered Chef there's gonna be all these different things and so one format I want to teach you that I've always taught our team is how to interact with people at these parties when somebody says well what do you do what do you do right and don't make the mistake of saying I sell Pampered Chef okay that sounds so boring to people <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to know that they want to hear something that's going to intrigue them and make them want to know more you want to have them on the edge of their seat going so tell me more about that right so there's a little formula I'm going to teach you you can write down and you can use this with recruiting and you can use it with bookings and the formula is do you know how dot 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 well what I do is dot 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 do you know how dot 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 well what I do is dot 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 okay so let me give you a couple of examples this one is gift related do you know how everyone is always looking for that perfect gift well what I do is offer all of my friends and family an easy and affordable way to buy their holiday gifts then they're like well tell me more about that right or do you know how it feels in january when you walk to the mailbox and all of those holiday bills start arriving well, what i do is help people just like you enjoy a debt-free holiday so you see how you can put a spin on it for bookings or recruiting or do you know how people are so busy and they just don't have time to eat together as a family. Well, what I do is teach people how to get dinner on the table in 15 to 20 minutes. Then they're like, well, tell me more about that. I need to know that, right? So you wanna get them intrigued by what you're saying. So use that when you're going to all of these events. And then of course, if you have customers that have ordered from you in the last couple of months, one thing you can do is you can reach out to those customers and you can do a customer care blitz. Now a customer care blitz is where you just check in to see if they're enjoying their such and such product. And you pull that up on your party and you can look and see what they've ordered. So tell me a little bit, Caitlin, about your deep cupboard baker. What have you been using it for? Okay. And so that then she'll say, oh my gosh, I used it the other night for such and such. And it was so amazing. And it had the most juicy chicken. And she's just going on and on and say, well, would you love for me to send you a couple of new recipes I have? Oh yeah, I would love that. Okay. Then you're providing a service. And then you say, do you mind if I share with you what's new with Pampered Chef? She's going to say yes. Everybody always says yes when you ask that question. And then you can say, well, this month, oh my gosh, you can choose up to any two items in the catalog at 60% off when you have a party. And you know how everybody is shopping right now. 
it's a fantastic month to have a party. I'd love to help you get some holiday gifts. Would you want something to start during the week or on the weekend? See how you just assume that they're gonna book? You don't say, do you wanna have one? You just assume they're going to and you ask them a question, okay? So do that customer care blitz and check in on your customers. That's going to make you different than anybody else out there because so many consultants and so many different businesses take somebody's money and they never hear from them ever again. And it will make you stand out if you call them and ask them how they're doing and if they're loving their products. Even if they don't want a book, it's going to make them remember you and they'll come back to you. Now, I wanna talk just a minute about recruiting and a little bit about January before we wrap up. So this is actually the time of year that I started my business. I started in October, 23 years ago. I did one party in, in October. It was, um, my first party was like 300 something dollars. <laughs> I don't remember, 330 or something like that. Um, it was an in-home party that I did. And then in November was really when I started doing more parties. So this is a great time of year for people to start because everybody's shopping, right? And of course, you know, they've got the income they can make for holiday gift giving and they've got entertaining expenses because when you're having parties at your house with family, that can get expensive, you know, or coworkers. And so extra money always helps people with those kinds of things. As a new consultant, they can get gifts as a, at a discount. And not only can they earn the new consultant rewards products, right? But they can also earn the free for all products. So there's two things that they can earn this month and next month, which is awesome. And of course, then we want everybody that wants to earn the fast track program, right? Earning those bonuses. Wouldn't that be great this time of year to be getting that fast track bonus, right? That would be a great help to families. And then as we talked about earlier, just starting your business now to really be aligned with starting the new incentive trip points in January. So, <laughs> you're just so excited, just finished learning. All right, yay, good for you, girl. <laughs> so, share your business this month. This is a fabulous time to share your business and you want to continue to share what you love about this business. And I love that hashtag, how I pampered chef. That's a great hashtag you can post throughout this month and next month about how you pampered chef. How do you do pampered chef? You know, if you go to a party, this is how I pampered chef, or I'm making something in the kitchen with my kids. This is how I pampered chef, right? That would be a great way to tell people more about our business. So keep sharing the business because it's a fabulous time for people to get started. So before we wrap up, let me talk just for a minute with you about January, okay? So January is around the corner, whether you know it or not, it's gonna be here before we know it. It just seems like once Halloween is over, before we blink, January is here, right? I know, it's crazy, 2020. So January gives us a fresh, clean start for our best year ever, right? It doesn't matter what you did or what you didn't do in 2019. In 2020, you have a fresh, clean start. And so when you start the new year strong, you're gonna earn a lot of commission, you're gonna earn incentive trip points, and you're gonna get your business off to an amazing start for the new year to work on the goals that you have. So I want you to think about five people that you know who could host a party in January. And I know it's a little bit early you're thinking to start thinking about that, but I've always told our team over the years, you want to have January booked by Thanksgiving. By Thanksgiving, you're going, what? By Thanksgiving? Yes, or maybe at the very latest, the end of November. Why? Because just as we were talking about earlier, the closest, it, the closer it gets to Christmas, the busier people get, the harder it is to reach them to book parties. So you don't want to be starting the new year trying to book January. You wanna get January nailed down 
completely by the end of November and by Thanksgiving is actually ideal. So we know that asking 10 will probably get us one booking. So if we want three parties, we need to ask 30 people, right? And who's the host that will never cancel ever? Yourself, <laughs> right? So you can have your own party in January. So keep working on getting January booked. And one key that you can keep in mind as you're booking January is when you ask hosts to collect orders from their friends and from their family that they see over the holidays, that's gonna solidify that party. Um, they are not going to um, cancel that party because they've got orders, right? They've already got outside orders to add to that party. So that's a great way to make sure that you solidify that party is get their, get some catalogs in their hands early so they can work on getting those outside orders from their family that they're going to see over the holiday season. And a lot of times people think, well, January, you know, hasn't everybody spent their money in Jane by January? No, think about this. When do all the retail stores have sales? Right? They have them after Christmas. Why do they have them after Christmas? Because people get money for Christmas. <laughs> and they want to spend it on something, right? So why not spend it on Pampered Chef? And, you know, there's kind of this big letdown after the holidays where there's not anything fun going on. And so people are looking for a fun virtual party or a fun in-home party to give them something to look forward to over the winter where it's kind of cold and dreary and everything. And they're also looking for healthy recipes and tips because then we're all on a diet after Christmas and Thanksgiving <laughs> and we're trying to eat healthier and start the new year off. So those are some of the reasons that people want to book January. So start thinking about January now. Now, obviously you wanna book November and December first, but work on getting them solid first and then get January. So weddings could come up in January, yes. Some people might be getting engaged at Christmas too, so then you could start talking wedding showers, right? So that pretty much wraps up what I had planned to share with you guys. And I know Lindsay wanted to give you guys the opportunity to ask questions if you wanted for maybe five minutes. Yeah, if, well, first of all, thank you. I took pages of notes myself. <laughs> um, so that was great for me. Um, and I do want to open it up for maybe if you have like three or four more minutes, um, you know, just see how many people have questions and sure. we'll kind of go from there. So nope. this is my first um, holiday season. Um, especially this month for November, I have like a heavy um, bookings for the first few weeks, but I thought, well, nobody's going to want to probably host like a virtual party the week of Thanksgiving is what I was thinking. Um, so I have some starting like over the weekend after Thanksgiving, but I didn't know because my initial thought was people are already out like Black Friday and, you know, things already shopping mm -hmm. and not in my mind, I thought they're probably not going to want to spend money on Pampered Chef because they just blew a whole bunch of money on, you know, on Friday. But does Pampered Chef, like, in history, do they usually offer any incentives? Like, if people just order online, like, free shipping or anything that we could plan ahead for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of us consultants offer our own Black Friday sales. And so that's not something from the company, but it's something I've done for years. And mine are usually $800 or more when I do them. And I send it out to all of my customers, my list. And the way it works is the earlier they order in the day, the bigger their discount. And so they order like really early, like midnight, like 12.01, you know, to seven in the morning, they get 20% off or something. I don't offer any more than 20% off. Um, and then they order the next block of time, they get 15% off and the next block of time they get 10% off. And so you just put that discount in as a consultant gift on their order. 
-hmm. as far as the discount that you're taking off. And that really does help you get some sales and people, um, you know, over time, like I have, they, they build loyalty with you and they, they look for that sale every year. They want that. Now the company does have a cyber Monday sale usually, and they will offer free shipping usually for the guest special level or higher. So for this year, it'll probably be $80 or higher. They'll get free shipping on Cyber Monday. So I, I can't guarantee that they'll do it exactly like that, but that's what they've typically done in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. Last year, they did that seven days of deals or something like that. Yes, yes. So I don't know. Um, I'm sure they have like all the computer stuff. We broke the internet last year. So, <laughs> um, I, but they, they did do like a seven days of deals where certain products were in the outlet. Um, yes. but I don't know, is, do they usually do that? No, they don't. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if they will, since we broke the internet last year, yeah. <laughs> froze it up. I don't know if they'll do that this year or not, because that was such a challenge. Um, but they might do something like that, but maybe not to that scale. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I think, um, Georgie asked a question about the pie workshop and yes, my understanding is that it's a prepackaged kind of thing where you order certain supplies ahead of time. So if you want to know all the details about that, I would suggest, um, that either you or Lindsay reach out to Melinda and I'm sure she has like a flyer or something she could send Lindsay to get to you. Um, have, about that. um the mile high apple pie we have the one all that information. Did. yeah mm -hmm. so it would just be similar um to that so we have yeah. all of that um uh awesome. video on it awesome so, yeah perfect all Are right any other questions you guys are quiet no <laughs> Gotta, no other burning desire questions. Anything you want to ask. It doesn't have to be about the holiday season. <laughs> soon to be national executive director. So this is your chance. You have a minute. <laughs> a minute. A whole minute. <laughs> Aaron, what you can just unmute yourself and talk. <laughs> All right, um, so this I'm freaking brands making new. I have done a launch party, but I didn't get any orders. I did get a lot of people in my group and on my page, but I'm not getting bites and I have been messaging all sorts of different ways and I'm just not getting a single bite from anybody right now. So for bookings or for what orders or both? Both at the moment. Okay. So um, I, I would encourage you to one, just keep reaching out to different people. Because sometimes you'll get in a circle of people that they just aren't into, you know, parties like that, or they don't have extra income or whatever that they can spend. So eventually you're going to find the right people if you just keep reaching out. And I also would encourage you to reach out to places where you do business. And so, you know, like if you have a hair salon or a dentist or a doctor or a vet or anywhere that you go, if you do business with them, why wouldn't they do business with you? Right. So like I've done a party for my OBGYN, for my dentist, <laughs> like I've done parties with people in my circle. So you want to, you want to talk to those people and tell them that you're getting started and that you would love, you know, to pamper them and help them earn products, but also they would be helping you, you know, kick off your business. So think about that. And then also look for some vendor events and the online vendor event or an in-home type thing or churches, schools have lots of things this time of year that could help you bring in a whole new crowd too. And I think it's a good idea to have some kind of vendor networking type of event every month. So you're not cycling through the same people over and over and you have new people you're meeting constantly. Hope that helps. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're um, welcome. Great. I'm gonna stop the recording really fast. Let's see.